This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 video game, available at en.wikipedia.org. This recording was made by user acatha96 and is present as of 1734, 8th of January 2011. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 video game from Wikipedia the free encyclopedia Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is a 2010 racing video game in the Need for Speed series developed by Criterion Games and published by Electronic Arts for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows and iPhone OS with a HD version for the iPad. A version for the Wii was developed by Exeunt Hot Pursuit is the 16th title in the franchise and was released in November 2010. The article is split up into seven sections. Section 1 deals with the video game's gameplay, 2 the development, 3 marketing and release, 4 reception, 5 soundtrack and 6 and 7 are for references and external links. Section 1 Gameplay Hot Pursuit goes back to the Need for Speed series roots and takes on the gameplay style of earlier Hot Pursuit titles in the Need for Speed franchise with exotic cars and high speed police chases. It is primarily inspired by the original Need for Speed on 3DO. Hot Pursuit lets players be either a cop or a racer and features a full career mode for both roles. The relationship between the cops and the racer is described as a dog chasing down a rabbit with the cops being more powerful compared to the racers. Each side has several power-ups including calling for roadblocks and radar jamming. The game takes place in a fictional location known as Seacrest County. It is an open world and features over a hundred miles or a hundred and sixty kilometers of open road, four times larger than that of Burnout Paradise, Criterion's previous title. According to Criterion, the single player section is somewhat between twelve to fifteen hours long, but with lots of replay value. Hot Pursuit also features a new social interaction system called Autolog, described as Facebook for the game. The game features both single player and multiplayer modes with up to 8 players as an option to live multiplayer racing. Players can post records and achievement on the Autolog feed for friends to see, which they can then try to beat. Autolog also contains an experience system called Bounty. Players can add custom soundtracks to the game as well. The driving model of the game is described as fun and accessible not as arcade styled as Burnout Paradise, but far from a simulator. All vehicles in Hot Pursuit are licensed real world cars and SUVs, described as all the cars you dreamed of driving in the way you dreamed of driving them. Most vehicles are available in both racer and police variants, but a few are exclusive to each side. Also exclusively featured in the Hot Pursuit mode, is the Porsche 918 Spider. Ferrari, however, last seen in a Shift DLC pack, but notably absent from all other Need for Speed games since Hot Pursuit 2, is also absent from Hot Pursuit. Section 2 Development The game was first hinted at during E3 2009 by EA CEO John Ricitellio. Ricitellio stated that Criterion Games, developers of EA's own Burnout series, was working on a revolutionary addition to the Need for Speed franchise, stating, We don't have a plan right now for a separate major launch on Burnout, because the team doing it is working on a revolutionary take on Need for Speed. It was also reported that the game was scheduled for release in quarter 4 of 2010. It was officially revealed as Need for Speed Hot Pursuit at EA's media briefing during E3 2010, with a trailer 
which showed a high speed police chase involving three different racers. The trailer was followed by a live demo of the game on stage between creative director Crave Sullivan as the cop and producer Matt Webster as a racer. According to Riccatello, the game was in development for two years. In August, before Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was set to take centre stage at EA's press conference during Gamescon, it was announced by art director Henry Labouton that Criterion collaborated with DICE in building this massive open world of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Early in November, Patrick Soderlund, Senior Vice President of EA Games Europe, said of this collaboration, I think the most important thing when you have two high quality developers working together, for it to work, they need to have mutual respect. They need to have that respect to say, OK, we trust you to do this. This was a case where that was so obvious, where the Criterion team had a full trust in the DICE team to do what they were doing, and vice versa. Recent games in the Need for Speed franchise included a story, but Matt Webster, producer of Hot Pursuit, said, we didn't really think it was necessary to include a story. If you're a cop, the aim is to go up the ranks, while a racer's aim is to get to the highest rank they can. UK product manager for Need for Speed, Kevin Flynn, said that Shift was a great game, but different and a bit serious, while Hot Pursuit is more fun and accessible. In October, the trophy list for the PlayStation 3 and soundtrack for Hot Pursuit were leaked onto the internet. Early in November, analyst Mike Hickey said he believed EA's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit could sell 4.2 million copies during the 2010 Christmas period. Section 3 Marketing and Release In early July 2010, EA announced Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on Tour, a seven-city event that took the game around the United States prior to the game's release. Each stop featured recording artists and showcased an assortment of exotic cars. The tour began on the 14th of July 2010 at the Manhattan Classic Car Club in New York City, headlined by DJ Z Trip. It then continued to Chicago, Seattle, San Francisco, Austin and Miami, ending with the Hot Pursuit launch party in Los Angeles. EA received a helping hand from UK vehicle wrapping company Totally Dynamic for the UK launch event, held at Totally Dynamic's South London Centre. In addition to the standard edition, a limited edition of the game has been announced, which features numerous bonuses over the standard edition, including exclusive packaging, two exclusive cars and four unlockable cars. The Need for Speed Hot Pursuit demo was available for download on the 26th of October on the Xbox Live Marketplace worldwide and the PlayStation Network in North America and on the 27th of October 2010 on the PlayStation Network in Europe. The demo was a limited time demo and closed on the 9th of November 2010. Criterion Games said that, unlike Xbox 360 and PS3 versions, PC demos require comparatively more resources in order to ensure they run smoothly across a wide variety of systems, as the reason for not getting the chance to release a demo for the PC. To the right hand side of the article is a table detailing the game's system requirements. The operating system is Windows XP, Service Pack 3, Windows Vista or Windows 7, the minimum CPU is an Intel Core 2 Duo 1.8 GHz or AMD Athlon X2 64 2.4 GHz, the recommended being Intel Core 2 Duo E6 7000 2.6 GHz or the AMD Athlon X2 64 6000 Plus or better. The memory 1.5 GB Windows XP or 2 gigabytes for Windows Vista or Windows 7. Hard drive space required 8 gigabytes of free space. Graphics hardware minimum 256 megabytes DirectX 9.0 compliant card with shader model 
O or higher. Recommended was G-Force 8800GT or ATI Radon HD 4700 or better. Sound hardware. The minimum was DirectX 9.0 compliant sound card, while the recommended was a 5.1 sound card. Network. Internet connection required for activation and multiplayer. The input devices. The minimum was a keyboard, optional controller, while the recommended was a keyboard, joystick, or an optional Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Trailers. In addition to the trailer shown at the official reveal during E3 2010, several other game trailers have been released, each revealing new aspects of the game. One trailer promoted the limited edition of the game, which features additional cars. Some trailers explain the game's new autolog feature. Two trailers released in September 2010 showcased the different aspects of cops versus racers gameplay. A trailer released on the 25th of September 2010 promoted the limited time demo. Three video clips released on the 29th of October 2010. Entitled Fast Needs No Friends, these videos depict two foolish valet parkers, Kevin Dillon and Jerry Ferrara, who have gained the love for fast, exotic cars by playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Three developer diaries were released to promote the game. The first was released on the 14th of October 2010, which features the game's producer detailing the autolog feature. On the 28th of October 2010, the second developer diary was released that features the game's creative director explaining the contents of the recently released demo. The third developer diary, released on the 6th of November 2010, details the specifics of Seacrest County's terrain and climate, as well as explaining day and night cycles. Section 4. Reception Pre-release Hot Pursuit was well received by critics at E3 2010, and was most notably awarded with Best Racing Game from Game Critics Awards, as well as several other media outlets. Other games in the category included Gran Turismo 5, Test Drive Unlimited 2 and Motorstorm Apocalypse. IGN said it had an inspired level of connectivity and 1UP.com stated that other racing games at E3 never had a chance. This is the first game in the Need for Speed series since the original Hot Pursuit to win an E3 award. It also was nominated for the Best Xbox 360 and Best PS3 game by IGN and Best Graphics by Gaming Excellence. Post-release Hot Pursuit received high praise worldwide from professional reviewers. Aggregate website Metacritic holds the average review for the PlayStation 3 version at 90% the Xbox 360 version at 88% and the PC version at 87%. This makes Hot Pursuit the highest rated game in the Need for Speed series history. In the 8th of November 2010 edition of the official US PlayStation magazine, the first review score was given as 10 out of 10. The reviewer said, It's consistently challenging without feeling difficult. It's immensely rewarding without ever being taxing. IGN gave the game 9.0 out of 10 and an Editor's Choice Award, praising the game's visuals and soundtrack, as well as a new autolog feature. Eurogamer gave the game 9 out of 10. Reviewer Tom Bramwell said, It's stuffed with content, but rarely for the sake of it, and knowing Criterion, it will be handsomely supported for months to come, even though it's already the best pure arcade racing game since Burnout Paradise. Game trailers also scored the game 9 out of 10. The reviewer stated Hot Pursuit was excellently crafted, letting you take the world's fastest cars across miles of stunning landscapes. Chases are exhilarating from either perspective, and the autolog feature completely changes how you compete with friends, keeping you hooked until you've wrecked all of their scores. Destructoid gave the game 9.5 out of 10. Reviewer Nick Chester noted that it delivers a near-perfect competitive experience in a way that few games, racing or otherwise, can. 
Hot Pursuit is not only a defining moment for the series, but for Arkale style racing, period. Reviewer Randy Nelson of Joystick was the second reviewer to give the game a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Reviewer Chris Anstia of Games Radar also gave the game out 10 out of 10. Chris stated that, with so many modes and diverse rewards to uncover in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, it almost feels like two and a half games in one package. Reviewer Tom Ory of Video Gamer gave the game 8 out of 10 and stated that the core driving is never anything but exhilarating. Visually, it's almost flawless and the autolog features are genre leading. There's still something missing though, a reason to explore the open world. GameSpot awarded the game 8.5 out of 10 and said, this fast paced racer keeps you glued to the TV and on the edge of the seat regardless of which side of the law you're playing on. To the right side of the article is a table titled Reception, Aggregate Schools, Aggregator, Game Rankings, School, 89.39% for the PS3, 85.79% for the Xbox 360. 87.50% for the PC. Metacritic 90 out of 100 PS3 88 out of 100 Xbox 360 87 out of 100 PC Review scores Publication Computer and Video Games Score 9.0 out of 10 Edge 9 out of 10. Eurogamer. 9 out of 10. Game Informer. 8.75 out of 10. Game Trailers. 9 out of 10. IGN. 9.0 out of 10. Official PlayStation Magazine US. 10 out of 10. Videogamer.com. 8 out of 10. Joystick, 5 out of 5 stars. Destructoid, 9.5 out of 10. Games Master, 9.3 out of 10. Games Radar, 10 out of 10. Section 5, Soundtrack. The game's soundtrack includes music from 30 Seconds to Mars, Benny Benessi, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, Chitty Bang, Dedemo 5, Klaxons, Loop Fiasco, M.I.A, Pendulum, Bad Religion, and Travie McCoy. Edge of the Earth by 30 Seconds to Mars plays when the game first loads. Section 6 References At the top of the article is an info box. The info box gives basic information about the game. The title is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Below that is an image of the European cover art. The developers are Criterion Games and for the Wii version, Exeunt. The publishers are Electronic Arts. The creative director was Craig Sullivan and Henry Labunta was the senior art director. The producer was Matt Webster. The designer was Matt Follett. The series is Need for Speed. The game engine is Chameleon. The version is 1.01.0. The platforms are the PlayStation 3, Windows, Wii, Xbox 360 and iPhone OS, namely for the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad. The release date in North America, 16th November 2010 in Europe 19th November 2010 and in Australia 18th November 2010 the genre is racing the modes are single player and multiplayer the ratings the Australian classification board G the British board of film classification PG the entertainment software rating board 10 plus for the Wii and the Pan-European Game Information, 7. The digital media 
for the PlayStation 3 is a Blu-ray disc, the Xbox 360 and the PC is a DVD, and the Wii is the Wii Optical Disc. At the top left hand corner of the gameplay section there is an image. It is captioned, Hot Pursuit allows players to control police vehicles and participate in high speed pursuits, a feature absent from the series since 2002. The image shows a player playing as a police officer who is chasing a suspect and acquiring an EMP lock on the vehicle. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 7. External links. The online version of this article at en.wikipedia.org contains a list of external links. This now concludes the spoken Wikipedia article Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 video game. This sound file was recorded by user acath96 and the material is current as of 1734 8th of January 2011. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License 3.0 Unported, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by hyphen sa hyphen 3.0